To honor Aretha Franklin at her funeral, First Lady of Greater Grace, Chrisette Ellis, put out the call to other pink Cadillac drivers, asking if they'd line up their cars in Detroit. Ellis says it was her husband and church pastor, Bishop Charles Ellis, who came up with the idea to have the Cadillacs at Miss Franklin's service. He said, wouldn't it be nice if we had a sea of pink Cadillacs? to uh, pay tribute to the Queen of Soul. And it's just apropos because she has the song, Riding on a Freeway of Love in a Pink Cadillac. The response has been tremendous. And I'll be honest, initially I thought, oh, we'll have maybe 15, 20. But once, you know, I put the clarion call out and said, hey, you know, we want to pay tribute to the Queen of Soul. My goodness. Ellis says they're now expecting at least 100 drivers in pink Cadillacs to come in from across the country, including Texas, Omaha, and Florida. You almost name a state and they're coming. They're like, oh, we will be happy to jump in our cars and we're going to listen to Aretha Franklin all the way. My heart just sang listening to um, their tributes and how excited they are just to come and support this iconic woman. The car is expected to start lining up along Seven Mile Road early Friday morning to file outside of the church. Ellis, who drives a pink Cadillac Escalade, is also a national sales director for Mary Kay, the cosmetics company who rewards top employees with pink Cadillacs. So it's a um, symbol of success in all business all over the world. People know a pink Cadillac, but then to know that the woman that wrote it were here to celebrate her passing and her life. A sea of pink Cadillacs, a motorcade to honor Aretha Franklin in a tribute fit for a queen. Ellis also said there's no better way to show the queen of soul respect than with a parade of pink Cadillacs. Back to you.